okay then I have decided to mount the engine upside down because that's the best fit and I have put the muffler upside down as well so it will go downwards and you can see the cowling has a hole not a very beautiful one but it will do actually and that's the best fit in fact that's the best fit with the engine here okay so the next thing I did was to mark the places where I will drill the holes and I also marked two places this upper one is for the throttle connecting rod and this one is to uh, control the choke because the engines gasoline engines also have a choke on their carb before starting you might want to use these ones so you can see there are two this is the throttle and this is the choke so uh, um, putting a separate simple rod that I will just leave inside here so I can on off the choke and uh, start the engine and the rest of the things should be simple but uh, let's see only thing that troubles me is that I have to run a long throttle connecting rod going all the way here okay so you can see this is the throttle servo and all the way here we have to run a very thick um, connecting rod so that it won't bend or I have to put some DIY supports for it so let's pick up my drill and start drilling the holes okay all looks good engine is sitting on its screws I did not tighten them um, I have to put Loctite on them actually so now I'm going to install I already installed the connecting rod for the choke it's coming here and it's working pretty good I can turn the choke on off easily now uh, for this connecting rod for the throttle I needed a long one so I found two uh, small rods sitting in my RC junk another RC junk and uh, what I did is I connecting them together I put some uh, super tape on it and then I put a shrink tube on it that's it and we have a long one so you can see if it sits here nice and easy it goes all the way to the throttle servo okay so now I'm gonna take the engine out and put this uh, end in and I also have to actually I figured out that I also have to make this hole a little lower so let's do it oh boy that was some work of tightening the screws from inside which was really little space for me to put that little tool inside hex driver or hex wrench okay well the engine is sweet nice mounted everything is working right let's check this is our choke so I can open it and I can close it it's a little tight but it will get its place and this is our throttle it's working just great uh, okay okay next thing to do is mount the throttle nicely on the servo arm and uh, install the CDI the ignition system and uh, finally install the cowling and propeller which is sitting there 168 propeller and uh, after that I will mount the 750cc fuel tank which can actually sit somewhere here nice and good and then batteries receivers and ESC can easily be mounted oh ESC no sorry UBEC of course UBEC batteries uh, two batteries I'm gonna use one for CDI and one for the receiver pack separately and uh, receiver of course can all go in there to balance the CJ so uh, stay tuned and this bird's gonna be ready to fly and when it will be ready I think the raining will stop and we can give it a flight stay tuned I'll keep you posted